Can the souls of the living meet with the souls of the dead? Is there any evidence that the souls of the living interact with the souls of the dead? One such evidence. The Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever sees me in a dream has truly seen me because the shaitan does not impersonate me. This is an explicit affirmation that the souls of the living can interact with the soul of the Prophet ﷺ. Evidence number two, Isra wal Miraj. In this case, it wasn't a dream. He was in a state of wakefulness. But what is the key point here? He interacted with the arwah of the prophets. So these are clear evidences that the people of this world can interact with the disease. Now, as for the evidences from the stories of the Sahaba and Tabi'un and from the stories of our ancestors and the Salihin and even us, this is something that Ibn Qayyim and others say is Tawatarat al Ummah. This is something that every generation mentions without exception. And I am positive, even in this audience, we have many people who have interacted with their deceased who have gone on. They have seen them in a dream there are thousands upon thousands of narrations especially when the righteous ulama pass away their students write and they record I saw him in a dream and this happened when you see a relative in a dream me and you the Prophet ﷺ said if you see him in a dream shaitan cannot take his form what does this imply it implies there is the potential or the possibility that shaitan can deceive somebody and pretend to be someone that the living person knows. Because of this, we say, it is possible to see your deceased in a dream. And it is possible the deceased will tell you something of significance or importance, but you cannot base a legal verdict or ruling on what you see in a dream. You cannot change the Sharia, and it will not hold up even in any court, even in an Islamic court, and you are truthful. It doesn't matter. We do not base laws on dreams. No dream can make the haram halal. No dream can make the halal haram. It is in fact possible for the souls of the living in their dreams to meet the souls of the dead. As for while in a state of wakefulness, this does not happen to us. Our Prophet ﷺ was an exception because he went to Isra al Miraj, and that is a different scenario. We do not interact with the souls of the dead while we are awake. Only when we are asleep, because when we are asleep, our souls enter a realm that is one step before the barzakh. And the souls in the barzakh, if Allah wills, they can come out to this interim where our souls are in the dream. There's not some type of ritual that you follow to see somebody in your dream. It doesn't work that way. It is something that happens as a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to those whom He chooses. And if you don't see a deceased in a dream, don't read in. There's something wrong. No, there are many righteous who passed away and they don't come in people's dreams. And feel free to act upon them as long as the huquq are being given from the deceased to somebody else, not the other way around, right? If the deceased comes and says, hey, take a hundred dollars from so-and-so, he owes me money. Doesn't work that way. But the other way around, if the haq is for the deceased and against somebody else, right? Now, this is much more easier. Nobody's gonna say no when you give a hundred dollars to somebody else. Say, oh, I just wanna give this as a gift on behalf of my father. And I know in my own extended circle, what has happened that somebody passed away and he came to his son and said, you know, I owe so-and-so money. And he had money, but he just didn't write a will or something. So the son went to that person and the person said, how did you know? I plan to forgive when he passed away. And the son said, I saw him in a dream. And my father told me, give the money to so-and-so. Now again, we don't base our sharia on it. But nonetheless, it is something that we can accept no problem.